to another video. It is Monday, May 2nd. Making some MLB plays today on Price Picks. Did want to show you guys this. We did hit on our picks yesterday that I did give you guys. Joy Votto under 6.5 fantasy score. Walker Buehler over 35.5 fantasy points. Tristan McKenzie over 5.5 strikeouts. And then Max Scherzer. The last play that finished was actually uh, over 7.5 strikeouts. He did hit that. He hit 9. So again, let me know in the comments below. I didn't the previous video didn't get that many views, but let me know in the comments you can see here the plays. I also gave you guys Freddie Freeman over um, because Joey Votto's game was about to start, so I gave you guys Freddie Freeman over seven and a half, and he clearly hit that with uh, two for four and a double and RBI. So again, we're gonna continue with these MLB videos, especially on Price Picks. I really love the lines on Price Picks for MLB. A lot of different fun, um, you know, types of games they have first runs, in, first inning runs allowed, things like that. But yeah, we're going to give you guys five plays today, price picks. We're going to give you guys four strikeouts, and then one first inning runs allowed. do want to keep this video as concise as possible. I know I don't want to make these videos too long. I know for me, if I'm trying to watch a video, especially about lines or plays like that, um, I just want to get to the point. But nonetheless, price picks link in the description below. If you I don't use play on price picks, they do match 100% of your first deposit. But yeah, let's not waste any time, you guys. Let's get right into it. Um, yeah, so the first play that I do like today is going to be Zach Gallen over five and a half strikeouts. You can see you're pitching against the Miami Marlins. I like Zach Gallen. He's hit five and a half one other time against the New York Mets. He struck out five, seven Mets, five against the Dodgers, which he did pitch extremely well. Six innings, no earned runs, and then uh, two strikeouts against the Mets when he only pitched four innings. Again, that was the beginning of the season. But I do like Zach Allen over here playing the Miami Marlins. Miami Marlins, you know, fourth highest strikeout percentage at 25.2% in the major leagues. Zach Allen, I take it the over here. Actually, the only over that I have for you guys today on this uh, eight-game slate. Only an eight-game slate, so it's really tough to find plays that I really, really feel confident in. But I'm taking Zach Allen over five and a half strikeouts. Next play is going to be Patrick Sandoval. I'm taking his under projected five and a half strikeouts. Uh, Patrick Sandoval has been pitching wonderful, great, terrific for the uh, Anna Angels of Anaheim, Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Um, you can see his game log has been pitching very, very well. He had nine strikeouts against the Indians, five against the Astros, six against the Miami Marlins. You know, has yet to give up an earned run. Seven innings, four innings, four innings, fifteen innings pitched, no earned runs. Has been pitching absolutely dominant. But again, Chicago White Sox are a different type of animal. You can see here the sixth lowest strikeout percentage in the major leagues their lineup is loaded with bats um, i do think this is going to be a pretty high scoring affair I, I think they kind of get to patrick sandoval a little bit early here in this game i'm taking the under patrick sandoval five and a half strikeouts and then i'm also taking the under on i'm going to take the under on max freed five and a half strikeouts uh, max freed again great pitcher dominant pitcher you know definitely a one of the faces of, I would say, left-hand pitchers in in baseball. His game log, he's only gone over five and a half strikeouts once, right, with eight here against the Dodgers. He really pitched well against the Dodgers. But his uh, two games before that just really got hit a lot. Uh, you know, his ERA was high. He gave up five more runs, two more runs. Game uh, against the Chicago Cubs, he went six innings, gave up four hits and one run, only four strikeouts. Pitching against the New York Mets, New York Mets, again, second lowest strikeout percentage in baseball now this isn't necessarily a stat that you just see and then whoever's you know facing these teams you, you pick um but i just think the new york mets they got a lot of players that really hit the ball contact wise i think pete alonzo maybe dom smith are two players that i feel like could strike out a lot but um yeah i'm taking the under on max Reed five and a half strikeouts i just don't think he gets to anything higher um than five strikeouts today i'm taking the under there and then the last play is going to be another under. It's going to be Steven Matz under against the Kansas City Royals. You can see Steven Matz, again, pitching well, right? Benching well, has had a nice season so far, has actually hit five strikeouts all every time almost. His line's five strikeouts, so he's hit five, six, six, and six. Against the New York Mets, he had six strikeouts, pitched four innings, four in runs. But I am taking the under here against the Kansas City Royals. Let's take a look at this. They are the hardest team to strike out in baseball this season, 2022. Hardest team to strike out, 19.9%. Um, I'm taking the under here, Kansas City versus Steven Matz. I'm not saying he doesn't pitch well. 
I am just taking the under um, on this line of five strikeouts. So those are the four pitching plays, and then I'm taking first run innings allowed in that same game. Steven Matz pitching against the Kansas City Royals against Zach Granke. I'm taking the under here, 0.5. Zach Granke, his, Zach Granke historically doesn't give up a ton of runs at all in general. I mean, you know, all-time dominant pitcher, but he just gets a lot of ground ball outs, and he doesn't strike out a ton, but he doesn't strike out a ton of players, but I'm taking the under here. Zach Granke doesn't give up a lot of first run innings. I think Steven Matz pitches well in that first inning against the Kansas City Royals. I'm taking the under here. Again, these these first run, uh, first inning runs allowed are super fun to play. Obviously, they're over super quick. You know if you've you know hit on the line or you haven't. But again, you got to kind of to to a degree. You know these are kind of luck. You know I feel like these ones. You could do as much research as possible, and you know you can easily not hit on one of these. So these are a little more fun type of plays for me that I do enjoy. I've been playing these too as well. Let me know in the comments below how you guys feel about first runs, first inning runs allowed. I think super fun to play, just exciting if you're watching the games, especially just that first inning. But I'm taking the under here, Royals and Cardinals starting pitchers. I'm taking the under .5 runs allowed. So those are the five plays today, you guys. Zach Allen over, Patrick Sandoval under, Max Reed under, Stephen Matz under, all strikeouts, and then Royals and Cardinals starting pitchers. First run, first inning runs allowed, I'm taking the under as well. So again, hit that subscribe button, drop a like on this video, and as always, have a great day.